In this video, we will learn how to clean junk files to free up disk space on your PC and prevent websites from tracking our online behavior, with just one click. Not to waste time, let's dive into the tutorial. So to clean junk files, you need to install the Cleaner One Pro application. It is available for Windows and Mac. I'll leave the link in the video description for you to download the setup. Before we proceed, what are the core features of the Cleaner One Pro? 1. Smart Scan. This analyzes your PC, recommends quick fixes, and gives a complete insight into the storage, optimization items, and security suggestions. 2. Turbo Booster. Free up memory and optimize CPU usage for better performance. Remove unnecessary startup items for a faster bootup. 3. Junk File Cleaner. Get rid of junk files, including cache, application junk files, log files, leftover files, and files in the recycle bin. 4. Registry Cleaner. Automatically check your Windows registry for clutter and error items to make your PC more stable. 5. Duplicate Files Cleaner. Safely find and remove duplicate files on your hard drive. 6. App Manager. Manage all apps installed on your PC and batch uninstall programs you no longer need. 7. Large File Cleaner. Find, remove, and delete large files using space on your PC. 8. Similar Photo Cleaner. Fast scan photo albums on your disk, listing all duplicate and similar photos. 9. Disk Map. Visualize how space is being used on your hard drive. Fast locate and delete files and folders that take up space. 10. Extension Manager. Manage and secure all extensions added to your browsers. What are the system requirements before you download Cleaner One Pro? 1. Your operating system must be Windows 10 or later. 2. 512 megabytes of RAM required. 3. 200 megabytes of free space is required for hard disk. But in this video, we will focus on how to remove unneeded files to free up disk space and prevent websites from tracking our online behavior. So go to Junk Files and click on the Scan Now button and wait for the scan to complete. After the scan, you can see we have Windows System Junk Files and it contains System Log Files, System Cache, System Files, Temporary Files, and System Patches. You can expand any one of these to see what exactly you want to clean. Also, you can uncheck these boxes if don't want to clean some of the junk files. After that click the clean button to start the cleanup. We also have the browser cache that cleans websites data leave behind on your disk drive and other junk files of applications, your downloads, and recycle bin files. I hope you find something good from this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on, like the video, and comment as well. See you on future tutorials soon. Stay tuned.